In this video, I am going to explain you that if there is a random walk model, you know, random walk movement with drift and deterministic trend, both the things, drift as well as deterministic trend, then how do you make it stationary? And how does the equation look like and how do you convert into stationary? Uh, please understand, this is a part of uh, like series, so lot many things have been explained in other videos. So just take a look at the equation. See, random walk process with drift and deterministic parameter is given by yt equal to yt minus 1 plus delta plus beta 2 into t and u. If you take a look, you know, yt equal to yt minus 1 plus delta plus ut is very much, you know, the, the way a random walk with drift goes. And this beta 2 into t gives the deterministic trend. So, if you take a look, you know, try to make it yt equal to yt minus 1, you know, let's call it z series, you know, this becomes delta plus t into beta 2 and ut. So, now this series is very much like the trend series, right? This has, this has no, like this is just, this, this doesn't have t error terms. This z series has 1 delta and t terms of the beta, but only one terms of error, very much like the way deterministic trend is. So, you know, a deterministic trend can be make stationary the moment you take the mean, which is delta plus t into beta 2 in this case, and you know, reduce that the, that mean value from each value of zt. So, if you remove the mean of the trend, that is delta plus t2 into b2 from zt, what you will get is u t. So, essentially left with the error term and that is how the series becomes stationary. So, above series needs to be, you know, a random walk process with drift and deterministic trend. You need to first differentiate it and then you need to detrend it to make it stationary. Thank you. Thanks for your time.